Well, greetings, knife lovers. This old sword is back with you with a new and another Vosteed knife review. I want to thank the folks out at Vosteed who provided this knife for review. And it is called the Raccoon. Interesting name for a knife, but you may have seen it out there in um, some promotions by Vosteed. And I had previously done a review on this fine knife, the Nightshade, a traditional Chinese drop blade utility knife, kind of a utility and kitchen knife that kind of a takeoff on that that was made popular in China. And there's a bit of a backstory on that, which is mentioned in that review, so I'm not going to waste time here by getting too deeply into that. So what do we have with the raccoon? We have a light knife and we have a button lock knife. And this button lock, here we go, <laughs> has no button stick, which I love. It comes in uh, both a black and a green and maybe one other flavor, micarta. Uh, this one is a green micarta. You can see how light it is because it has not been handled much by me or anyone else. It was fresh out of the box. Very dark here along the spine where it is uh, cut and shaped and buffed, which is why that darkened down a little bit, and drier here. So let's back out a little. It's a little drier looking there because um, of the fact that that is the nature of micarta. It's a drop point blade. We're going to measure it up in a moment. The uh, steel is 14C 28N, so good solid uh, Sandvik steel. It is uh, falling into the budget category. Uh, I'll get a price for you in the links, but I um, believe it's in the $60, $70 price range, no more. I may be off on that. Nice jimping. Uh, very file-like, which is how I like it. Double thumb studs for an opener. And I haven't oiled it or done anything to it. This is uh, straight out of the box. And let's take a moment to talk about the box. There is the label. It comes in with a nice sleeve over an aluminum box, which is very cool. Very class act, just as with the nightshade. And let's get it right side up. There it is. Nice logo. And we pop open the cover here. And we got lots of uh, goodies inside. Including, there we go. Including a nice pouch. Nice zippered pouch. And you can find them at Vosteed.com. You can also find them on Instagram. A very nice um, morale patch here. Beautiful uh, Velcroed. Got some goodies inside. Oh, this is interesting. Vosteed support. Yep, this is the one that was interesting. Wanted, dead or alive. Vosteed raccoon. <laughs> Armed and very dangerous. Okay, that was uh, kind of clever. Not sure we want to mention our knives as weapons, but, you know, if you want to, that's cool. Here is all of the salient details on the knife. So we'll see if they pan out to be what they are supposed to be. That one measurement is just for the blade. Plunge lock. And there is the art and logo. So, yeah. Same thing on the both Vosteed knives that I've received so far. This, by the way, is a sticker. If you wanted to keep that and use it somewhere, you get a nice microfiber cloth inside and a beautiful tin if you want to either store the knife in it or use it for some uh, tobacco or whatever. Never know. Change. Something to put on the bureau. Let's get back to the knife, shall we? I think it's always good to get back to the knife. Overall length, okay, seven and a half inches. I still got to go farther back here. 
Got a new camera position, so got to fiddle around a little. So, yes, uh, seven and a half inches, maybe a um, tad more. Three and a quarter inches, they were correct on the blade length. And as far as the other dimensions go, we're set to millimeters, so let's do the blade stock. 2.8 millimeters. Switching that to inches, 0.11. And handle thickness, 0.49, under a half inch. Nicely weight relieved inside. You should be able to see those skeletonizing holes, those lightning holes on both sides. We've got to get a weight on it then, right? Almost forgot. Close her up. Okay. And it's only 3.1 well, we'll call it 3.2 with rounding it up. 3.2 ounces. Very nice. A good weight. Leads to the question, is there a good weight for a knife? I guess lighter is better. Light and long is good. Ounce per inch and all of that. So, um, yeah, we've got about an ounce per inch here. What do you know? We have a beautiful clip that is not completely deep carry, but I think more and more many of us are saying, you know, I don't really need totally deep carry. You've got a little bit sticking out there and you've got enough for a lanyard to go through. Nice little hole there. Completely countersunk clip into the handle with flathead screws. Got to love it. And we've got a plate on the other side to allow you to do the same thing on the left side and as I said we've got absolutely no stick on that button nothing one thing though it's just a little stiff in here and is it running on bearings yes it is I can see the caged bearings in there so um, I mean you could certainly loosen the pivot a little bit it's not sticky it's just a bit tight at the beginning there, but even a low energy wrist flick will close it. So I don't think you're going to have any problems there fidgeting with it. And of course, the more you fidget with it, uh, the looser that's going to become. Can you middle finger flick it? Absolutely. I'm not that good at that, but I did at that time. How does it hold in the hand? Well, Index finger in the finger groove, three fingers, just about cover the knife. So nothing left over, no dangling pinky. And um, if you want, you've got this whole platform here and a little bit of a choil so you can wrap your finger around there for close-up work. Just be careful because there is a little bit of a point there it isn't pointing backwards so much that it's going to stick into your finger if you touch it, but you don't want to put any real pressure there. One thing I like to do if I'm going to, if I'm going to use that a lot is to take a diamond file and just touch the corner there. You don't need to remove much metal. Just touch the corner, take the pointiness off, and then you're not jabbing your finger. And that's something that maybe makers can think about is canting that forward enough so that you don't have a point pointing backwards okay in case someone is inclined to use that choke up choil so three and a quarter inch blade it's stone washed it's sandvik steel 14c 28n a little bit of a fingerprint magnet because although it's stone washed there's a bit of a uh, maybe an after polish or a tumble or something that goes on there that makes it pretty slick and have uh, you know a little bit of a polish going on there I don't know if you can see so there is the stone wash texture there you still not, may not be able to see it that well it's definitely got a stone wash under the surface and uh, so we'll call it kind of a satiny look even though there's no satin grind lines 
we've got a nice thick point so that's not going to be too uh, delicate at all they broke the uh, edge on the top spine which is great you can see that reflection so that's not sharp which is great um, markings on it Vosteed here and raccoon 14 C 28 n there that's it very minimal nothing on the big flat larger surfaces of the blade and speaking of flat that's flat ground almost all the way to the spine so you've got a very fine edge haven't measured it out but it's a high flat and it's looking pretty thin I'll leave it at that because you know I can get the micrometers out and measure it but am I in exactly the right spot to give you an accurate edge dimension not always it's a little bit of shift can make a big difference for some people so that's why I don't give that figure out although some people are willing to and that's fine let's take a look at the degree of plunge lock here got pretty good engagement I'd say it's engaged about a third the thickness maybe 40 percent yeah about 40 percent which is good because we do know that there are plunge locks button locks out there that don't give you a lot of engagement and some people will test them by wrapping the back of the blade and they close very easily so if you're relying on a lock uh, you don't want it to close on your fingers and how much stress you're able to put on that or should put on that I can't really say I know companies like Benchmade say 600 pounds uh, the elephant in the room of that gorilla is that I don't know anybody with a 600 pound grip so practically speaking you can lock it in a a vise and put 600 pounds on there but you can't hold it in your hand and put 600 pounds on there at least no human that I'm aware of even maybe the mountain over there in Iceland you know I like that guy by the way uh, what else are we gonna look at here we're gonna look at blade to handle ratio and it's pretty good you know um, got about a quarter of an inch and that's it and because the blade kind of goes down in there the drop of the point with the handle there is no danger of picking up that point accidentally and that's a good thing for any knife you're going to carry a lot so I could choke up here the middle finger goes in the finger groove and I've got plenty left over at the end I can square up on this for push cuts I can uh, use an index finger for delicate cutting well, let's compare it to the nightshade it's about the same size I believe although difficult to get a read on it yeah because of the drastic bow that we have through the nightshade there which is uh, quite interesting actually how about the big lighter button lock by Kaiser identical length and also another button lock with no stick on bearings very nice here a little bit of like a squeakiness of those bearings moving on this one on a lot of the Kaisers I don't know if it's the way they got it set up or what that doesn't interfere with anything else but uh, almost a full deep carry clip on the big lighter and we got that neat red and black carbon fiber going more of an elongated thinner version of the same blade with a little bit of a clip going on as you can see because you have more of a sheep's foot shape there more of a spear point and what else we got how about the is it the Kaiser yeah the Kaiser Assassin XL which does have a little bit of button lock and that's interesting because Kaiser big lighter didn't but we've got just a little bit of a stick nothing that really interferes but you can hear it you can hear it snap and what are we doing for size on this one it's a little bit bigger since hey it is an XL right by about half an inch so the blade just slightly longer it's more that the handles a bit longer on the assassin have another knife called the assassin as well 
Uh, how about against standard comparison knives? How about the Griptilian? It is slightly shorter than the Griptilian with the blades slightly shorter than the Griptilian. And rat one time. So rat one, a good inch, inch and a quarter longer overall. And a blade about half to three quarters of an inch longer ish. So let's take another look around. The Vostede Raccoon. And uh, be aware that Raccoon is wanted. That's a good way of putting by the knife, right? It's wanted. Get it? Ha ha. <laughs> but I do like the effort they made to uh, giving you really a class act with the box and everything. And the pouch. You get the pouch and the box and uh, all the little uh, goodies inside. Uh, they're making a great effort. So don't forget to check for the link to where you can buy this. Uh, should be several different places. Whoever is selling Vosted, 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 excuse me. Apologies to the Vosted people for mispronouncing the name. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Um, just a hair's breadth south of 5,000 subs. Look for the giveaway announcement soon. Never know. Could be this knife. Could be something else. Take care.